Whether if you're still in quarantine or just want to spend a cozy afternoon reading, these are five romance books you won't be able to put down. Number one, Blue Eyed Devil by Lisa Kleypas. Blue Eyed Devil is the story of the charming, volatile, and ambitious Hardy Cates, who is determined to carry out his private revenge against the Travis family. Heaven is the rebellious Travis daughter who struggles against her overpowering attraction to the most dangerous man in town. But when Hardy crashes a Travis family wedding, the heiress and the bad boy uncover an explosive chemistry that neither of them can deny. Hardy Cates is an unscrupulous rascal, but now he's trying to clean up his act. He's looking for the perfect society wife, the kind of woman Heaven Travis could never be. Having once been burned by a love affair gone wrong, Heaven vows to stay away from the sexy heartbreaker. However, Heaven discovers that the temptation of a blue-eyed devil is hard to resist. And then, when a menace from the Heaven past appears, Harding may be the only one to save her. Number 2. Dream a Little Dream by Susan Elizabeth Phillips After the discovery that her late husband, a popular televangelist, embezzled $5 million dollars from his ministry, Rachel Stone, his widow, is an outcast, broke, unemployed, with a five-year-old son to raise. Fate and a dead Karen Jean leave her at the shabby driving theater owned by Gabriel Bonner, the hostile black sheep of the town's most prominent family. Welcome to Salvation, North Carolina where a man who's forgotten what tenderness means meets a woman with nothing to lose. Number 3. Moments of Meaning by Charlotte Bell Allen In a panic, Lyle Maxwell takes the first flight out of Sydney and winds up in Perth, spending her days in this hotel swimming pool trying to deal with the horror of her recent experiences with the man she had come to Australia to marry. She returns home to discover that her previously well-ordered life has fallen into chaos. Her shop assistant is leaving, and in Lyle's absence she has hired a young Vietnam vet as a replacement. This change in itself is upsetting, but then Lyle learns she is seriously ill and must have surgery. While she's in the hospital, the running of her needlepoint shop is taken over by Jess Kelsey, who gradually infiltrates her life and her affections. But Jess is suffering the effects of his experiences in Vietnam, and before they can be together, they must be apart. Number 4. Match Me If You Can by Susan Elizabeth Phillips Annabelle's endured dead-end jobs, a broken engagement, even her hair is a mess, but that's going to change now that she's taking over her late grandmother's matchmaking business. All Annabelle has to do is land the windiest city, hottest bachelor as her client, and she'll be the most sought-after matchmaker in town. Why does the wealthy, driven, and gorgeous sport agent he champion need a matchmaker, especially a red-haired screw-up like Annabelle Granger? True, she's entertaining, and she does have a certain quirky appeal, but Heat is searching for the ultimate symbol of success, the perfect wife, and to make an extraordinary match, he needs an extraordinary matchmaker, right? Number 5. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen Pride and Prejudice is set in England in the early 19th century, and it follows the Bennet family, which includes five very different sisters. At a ball, the wealthy and newly arrived Charles Bingley takes an immediate interest in the eldest Bennet daughter, the beautiful and shy Jane. The encounter between his friend Darcy and Elizabeth is less cordial. Although Austin shows them intrigued by each other, she reverses the convention of first impressions. Pride of rank and fortune and prejudice against the inferior social status of Elizabeth's family hold Darcy aloof, while Elizabeth is equally fired by both the pride of self-respect and by prejudice against Darcy's snobbery. As a bonus, this is our LGBTQ special recommendation. Cop Out by K.C. Byrne 
Detective Kurt O'Donnell is used to digging up other people's secrets. But when he discovers his slain partner was married to another man, he's shaken. Determined to do the right thing, Kurt offers the morning Davy his assistance. Helping Davy through his grief helps Kurt deal with the guilt that his partner didn't trust him enough to tell him the truth. And somewhere along the way, Davy stops being an obligation and becomes a friend. The closest friend Kurt ever had. I hope you enjoyed these books as much as I did. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more books, recommendations, movie news, tutorials, travel videos and much more. Until the next video!